All right, guys. Um, welcome back to the Hobby Farm Homestead. This is uh, take two on collecting firewood. First thing I'm going to do is go over to my dad's house, grab his chainsaw and his log splitter, and then we'll go back up to the, the hog farm there and see if we can get wood this time. So uh, hang in there, and uh, hopefully we get some wood. The sun is bright. All right, guys. Finally made it back up here. Uh, we're gonna grab some of this wood that's down and there's a few dead trees over that way if I don't get a truckload I'll cut those down then I have one down at the house um, that I'd like to take care of but I did end up getting a log splitter and also grabbed his uh, chainsaw so it should be pretty reliable to steal so let's uh, get at cutting this wood up and getting it split
All right, guys, that's a pretty good jag of wood. I got most of the big lumber, big rounds split up. That sun's probably right in your guys' eyes. But uh, this will do for now. Uh, that 22 ton log splitter from Tractor Supply, the county line or whatever you want to call them, they do okay. Um, if you get into some really knotty stuff, it doesn't want to push through. But uh, other than that, it, it, does, it does its job. So what we're gonna do now is take this down to the farm and get it unloaded and um, see if we can get a fire going and that'll probably be it for today. So I'll see you guys down there. All right, well, we're down here in the basement, my add-on. This is a, an add-on wood furnace and my other furnace is over here. So I don't, like I said, I used to solely heat with this and then very, use very little propane. But uh, it got so hot in the house. I mean, it would be like 85 even this, with this thing dampered down. You know, because it's right into the vent work. And then uh, it just goes through the house. So but when it's this cold out, it works good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing cleaned out. And uh, we still have to unload the truck. But I, I want to get the fire going. And make sure this thing is up and running properly uh, before I, I unload all that wood. So let's get her cleaned out. So that wood should catch relatively easy and it's pretty dry. It's just one of those bundles that you can buy from the store. I just figured I'd buy one of those just to get it going. So once it gets going, I'm gonna keep it running for a while. So this is what I have down here. And the fire is going pretty good right now. So it's just a hot blast, one you can get from the tractor supply. Like I said, it's hooked into our ductwork, and there's a constant fan on the furnace, plus a fan on the back side of this. So, it, like I said, it flows through the house pretty good, and plus, you know, heating up this basement helps a whole lot. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you today. Um, finally got some wood. That was a good thing. Um, there's plenty more up there, but I got to drop the dead standing stuff. This, all this wood was dead, uh, and it had about a 19, 18, 19 percent moisture content which is a little high but you want anything under 20 percent so other than that guys if you like the video smash that like button and if you're not subscribed please think about subscribing i'll talk to you guys later